All right, guys, uh, welcome to day four of Credit 5, your PowerPoint packet. Um, so far, we've put together uh, something of a, a PowerPoint presentation here. Uh, today, they ask you to add three more slides, one about your family, one something that uh, is important to you, you think is important because it helped make you who you are, and a video. Um, so you're going to want to insert, again, you don't have to actually insert a picture of your family. Uh, the, the point is to practice getting pictures off the internet, uh, putting them in, and formatting them. Remember when you're formatting pictures, you're going to want to click in the corners and click and drag. Don't click on the sides and click and drag like this because see how it distorts the image. I mean, I, you can guess pretty well what it's supposed to look like. Um, but it's much better if you just click on the corner. And also, you should know that the same hotkeys and rules apply as in a Word. So if you want to undo something, just hit Control and Z, and it'll undo it for you. Um, you may be wondering how I got the writing to go down like this. Uh, in order to do that, you go to your home uh, row here, your home tab on the ribbon, and then click on text direction and go down to stacked there. And that's how you make it off to the side like that or like that and that's a nice way to put a label off to the side of your uh, PowerPoint remember a uh, different color background uh, make sure the font is visible against the background that you've chosen so don't do green dark green on dark green because it obviously won't show up uh, so I'm going to assume that you guys can find uh, some pictures and insert them um, but you are also going to need to insert a video uh, so I want to walk through that real fast because we haven't done that yet. It's the same process. You just click on insert, but this time you go down to video and you're going to use an online video. Uh, I'd use YouTube because they've got the most videos and uh, they're easy to embed. Uh, beforehand, you're going to want to actually go to YouTube and uh, search for the videos because um, you'll see the, the search option is limited. So we're going to go to YouTube and then we're going to and look at rally races rally races there we go okay cool um so what you do is look through the rally races and see which one you like uh and then when you get well in this in case i'm looking through rally races you're looking to whatever whatever you like on youtube and in this case then when i type in rally races i've already looked through the videos and know exactly what i'm looking for so just use the same search uh, here as you did on YouTube because you can't preview the videos once you're in PowerPoint. All you can do is click on one of them and insert it. And once you've inserted it, you can again make it nice and big. And then when you actually uh, play your PowerPoint, which you do by hitting the F5 key at the top of your screen, you click through here, click it through. And those will be filled in once you get there. And then you get here. And then you click the play button. You've got video in your PowerPoint. So um, that's how you do that. Now it also says uh, you need to move the slides around using the viewing pane and include shapes or word art on at least one slide. So shapes and word art are uh, easy enough to do. You go to insert and then you can use your... Uh, options here with shapes and smart art and don't overuse it but these can be kind of fun to use uh, I, you can use it like uh, you can call stuff out with arrows and you can mess around with the size of the arrows uh, if you want to you can change the color of the arrow what have you um, you can insert shapes which there's a ton of And you insert shapes by drawing them like that and then the same rules apply you can change the colors you can um, mess around with them a whole bunch so uh, that's that should be fairly simple uh, just play around with it and in include those on at least one slide um, the other thing I wanted to touch on though was moving things around so you move stuff around uh, simply by clicking on it and dragging it it's easy enough right I left click drag Drag, 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 drag. So you need to put things in order. So you need to start with your title page with your name, which is right there, and then you need to have your video second. So I'm going to drag my video up here to the top and release, and then I need to have 
uh, the about me page. So um, let's see here. The about me are the things that I think are important because they made me who I am. So that's there. That's already good. Then the next thing are my three favorite things. So I'm going to put that here along with one, two, and three. And then the last thing will be about my family. So that's how you reorder things in PowerPoint. Uh, and that's it for this uh, presentation. Um, good luck with it and good luck with the class. Also, guys, uh, I haven't been saying it, but I'll say it one last time. Make sure you're saving every single time. Uh, at this point, that should be automatic. Um, if you don't save it, it's going to disappear. And nothing pisses somebody off more than uh, working a whole bunch on something and then not saving it. Luckily, they always ask you, do you want to save before you ask? So, yes, always click save. All right, guys, that's it.